Here at the happy home for the unusual, we're speaking with the legendary Jonathan Winters. And of course, 2018, that's the year right now, and recalling some magic memories about the great days of fishing with Jonathan. You have a lot of wonderful memories. Well, I do, you know. It's, I know, quite an old phrase. It seems like only yesterday that we went fishing. Of course, that's not true, it was over well, 20 Whatever years ago, 20 years ago. Now. Yes, yes well, really. that was yesterday to me. Uh, we were down in, uh, we were down in Missouri. In Missouri, as they say now, when you get that far south of St. Louis in Missouri. We're down in the Ozarks. Beautiful, beautiful area down there. This is definitely the Ozarks. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. I don't care whether I catch any fish or not. It doesn't make any difference. What beauty. I got to pull in here and <clears throat> yeah, do that, but I got to get some gas. I just can't go any further. Listen, Lamar, you just stay with it now. I happen to look over here at this wagon, wherever it is, Roba. Looks to me uh, like it might be a guy from Fruit City. You know, one of them recording people, a show folk, you know? Land of paradise. Land of pretend. Just keep playing it. I'll see what he wants. Howdy. Morning to you. You know, it's OK. Hear my boy playing? Don't he play well? He's had a lot of bad falls, but he plays real good. Hi, uh, listen, you want to uh, fill it up with Supreme and, uh, yeah, go, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know whether it's, let's see, is it Supreme or is it uh, low lead? I, I tell you what, give me a little of low lead and, and a little of Supreme. I know that sounds crazy, but I've been driving for 700 miles, so uh, forgive me. I understand you wanted uh, some low lead and, uh, and some Supreme, that's unusual. Of course, you're being from Fruit City and all. I guess they're, they're unusual there, too. What, what's the story on, on, on the bathroom? The men's is permanently closed? I guess we're far enough out in the country I could go in the women's. I mean, if you if you just stand out there and I can't go in there. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, that's OK. Listen, well, whatever you think, how far is it to an area where I could relieve myself? Mm. <laughs> all the design has been taken off the wheel. Had fur on when I left. It's all gone now. Uh, on the wheel, that is. Good luck to you. Nice looking man. Get those clothes in, in, on the West Coast? <laughs> they sure like to dress up there, don't they? It's Halloween all year round. You know who I am? Of course you don't. Used to have a tag on. Yeah. Hackstead is my name. Used to be. Change it just to Hack. Listen, how's the fishing around here? I was going to ask you. We're uh, looking for, I'm looking for, uh, for uh, Lake Moss Lighter. Oh, here, let me, let's see here. Lake Moss Lighter. Don't see it here. Hmm, that's funny. Uh, let me ask, Ernie, Ernie, he's uh, working on the rack. Got a little oil in his face. Get the oil out of your face, out of your ears, Ernie. Ernie, want to know, no, man wants to know where Lake Moss Lighter is. It's no more. Oh, it's no more. See, I've been down here 25 years. Came down from Bitterfoot Pool, Maine. Don't mean nothing to you. 
Lovely territory down here, good people. Lots of fishing, used to be. Better hunting. Bring any guns with you? Yeah, <laughs> just go along the highway and sh if you see something cross, shoot it. I mean, I don't mean that, I was kidding. Well, here at any rate, it, 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 they gave you this brochure in California, did they? Well, they screwed you, Jack. Yes, sir, it, it ain't even here anymore, 1926. Here, take it back, it's yours. They stiffed you. What a bummer. Uh, I tell you, I've been driving over 600 miles, man, and I am hurting, I mean, you know, mentally and physically. I just, do you have a candy machine? <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I, I just, I'm living off Clark bars. <laughs> I got tea. <laughs> Looks like you're kind of hungry, at least facially. Uh, Marge is on down the road here, no more than about 26 miles. Ernie, isn't it about 26? What does he know? Face is full of oil and grease. Uh, just go on down this way and turn right, then turn left, then right again. On, uh, uh, j just continue on down about 26 miles. There's a great diner on the right-hand side. Marge, she's a big woman, puts out good pies and afraid there's no fish. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Well, Ernie, we did pretty good, considering all. Filled him up twice. <laughs> well, he taste that food down there. That'll set him free. Mm. <coughs> got a fur ball. <coughs> now, this time, we were very hungry. I was. I was by myself. I say we because somebody said that on a sports show. We're right here. You know? <laughs> yes. I don't know why collective, they do that. You know? Collective we. At any rate, I was by myself, and I said, where can I get some decent eats, you know? Well, he said, you go on down here to Maud's place. He's got a diner down there or a restaurant. Turned out to be a restaurant. He lied. It wasn't a diner. It was a restaurant. Well, certainly, and the rest would be history. By the way, uh, you seem to be quite happy here at the happy home for the unusual. Yes, I am. I'm very proud to tell you a couple of things. For over uh, 18 months, it, it took me to make this uh, macrame. Very attractive. Uh, uh, robe for my legs well, now and I knees. See, you seem to have spelled out little naughty words throughout there. Oh, uh, those are soup stains. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Now, I made these. Uh, the kids of uh, my grandchildren brought me brought me the bunny slippers, you see. Oh, they're beautiful. Aren't they, though? As you recall, I know it's a little difficult to go back 20 years here, but uh, tell us a little bit about the first time that you met what Maud was that her name, Maud Fricker? Yeah, I believe it was. Yeah. I believe it was. A big woman. something? I've seen you someplace before. I'm trying to think where it was. Was it up there at the, at the gas station sitting out, outside the door there? Play, play a little bit. Yes, sir, I think you're on your way to Hollywood. I mean that, too. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, yeah, you must be Maud. Well, I'd introduce myself, but it <laughs> I'm Mr. Nobody. Uh, the guy up the uh, road a piece uh, where I got my car just filled up with gas, he said that uh, your diner here was just out of sight and the cooking was great. I mean, hamburgers and cheeseburgers and hot dogs, but what about that fish, huh? Would I have any fish? You do have fish, don't you? I can tell you're a tourist. I've never seen any outfit like that in this town. <laughs> no offense. Uh, but I've got to be honest with you. Normally, this time of the year, there's all kinds of people here. You're the first tourist, real tourist, I've seen in quite a while, and you're after fish. I don't serve fish here because it stinks up the place. Do you understand? I hate the smell of fish. I've seen my own cat turn away. I'm not kidding. You don't have fish? I can't believe that. I mean, this whole area, this was, was, the, this was the big part of the brochure. They told me the place was the fish. The smallmouth bass were just out of sight, weighing in the neighborhood. I had the brochure, it's on me something, probably in the car. Three and a half pounds, maybe up to four. Let me show you something. 
You see all these lures here? There's frog lures and there's little fuzzy lures. There's one with a skirt on it. The, here's a mini over here. Here's a, a red worm and, and, and here is even the mouse. Forget all them lures. I'm going to live with you, with you, okay? You follow me so far? Forget the lures. Every one of them. And there's about 160 of them there. I counted them one day when I was sober. Use the net. Take this one. I'll sell it to you for $400. It's worth it. Think of the fish that you'll get. If you like fish so much, you'll get them all. When I was a little girl, I used to, my, my brother would just let me hover. He, he'd put me on kind of a rake and just, I'd dangle over the falls and watch the fish mate. My brother was something else. Mmm. Give me a cheeseburger to go. I felt she was coming on to me. Oh, and yes. I, I panicked. And I, so I drove north after that. Uh, she'd been married, I don't know, eight or ten times, you know, and outside of Hollywood, I didn't think people in Van Buren did that, but uh, I guess... Well, you being the gentleman that you are, yeah. you decided to go north. Instead. I left her some costume jewelry, a picture of Lincoln and a swimsuit. What about the bait? You were in your quest oh, for bait now. I, I love to fish, and what you got to do any place you go is find out what they're hitting on. And so I went into uh, one place, into the regular old store there, a trading post, what it said on the side of the building. <laughs> and I went in, I was after night crawlers and then catalpa worms. Of course, they didn't have none of them there. But you never know. Catalpa right. worms get around, too. They're like locusts. But bugs, bugs are always good, and worms, you can't... Uh, the worms were stiff, believe it or not. They was real stiff, so stiff that... I took about three of them because I was kind of hungry, and I they were flat by the time I'd bought them. Yes. I thought it was beef jerky. I see. Well, you... they were just regular night crawlers that were hardened. I see. So the minute you bite into a worm, you know it. I, I, I've seen the expression on a robin many times ago. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand, yes. Well, you didn't do that. You didn't no, bite I into didn't one. No, I didn't do that. I don't listen to the ground. No, no. All right, well, the, so you did finally get to a bait store, a yes, lure store. I did. to give me a stroke. What's the matter with you? Man, I was in heavy medication. Uh, med meditation. We're both. Come up here and that was my bad foot anyway. There's a double header infection in the toe. You understand? Ingrown. Ingrown this way and ingrown that way. You wouldn't have a piece of wood on you, would you? Or otherwise, this looks kind of silly, don't it? I mean, to be whittling my finger and all. <laughs> with a bad toe and then to be whittling this finger. <laughs> I might as well join up with the Ringling brother. Yeah. I suppose you're thinking about going fishing because your rods are sticking out double far. You better be careful. It ain't done my business now and go to a little picking on me. I'm a biblical student, as old as I am. Do you realize how old I am? Do you have any idea? I'll give you an idea. It's right here on my wrist. 97 year old today. <laughs> today could be any time, couldn't it? That's the way my dad put it on me. He was a tattoo person. He was in the Navy for 12 years. That's all he did was tattoos while he was being bombed. At any rate, I expect you want to go in there and get some bait. They'll open up here. You know, let me take, hold on. Yeah, about 10 minutes they'll open. He might be, I'll tell you, just between you and me, what they might be hitting on is all his minis. You can count on that, according to what you're going for, of course. But uh, you can't go wrong with the worms, too. Worms is good, and then she's got some natural little baits that she sent away to Milwaukee for. They've got little spinners on them. The eyes are, are, are protruding and everything. And they, I, I guess a good guy's fish to take those. Go on in there. Yeah, I'm gonna drop off now. I'm going into medi medi medication. Mm. Mm. That's one thing about being a biblical student. You can drop off anytime you want to, get it? <laughs> You're a big fella. Boy, I bet you've had your grits early, haven't you? <sighs> See the cat? Watch the cat's face. He hates me. Good luck fishing. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, all right, all right. Lamar, 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 I want you to stop for a minute and listen to me. I just don't want you to stay away from that music that supposedly you created. You never created it. You just listen to radio. I see your little ear. That's why the one ear is enlarged over the other because you've gotten too close to the radio and it shriveled that ear and it's caused your music to uh, get crappy. Now, I want you to play what your mother loved, that thing about where the mountain fell on the, on the frog or where it was. You know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and play it. She loved that. She loved that. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Lamar. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm sorry. I, I listen to my boy here. I, I hear him all day long, but he, he never plays nothing real special. He did then, though. He played something that uh, he played a song that he played for his mother. She, we lost her a little while back. She uh, ran across the road here, and a semi hit her, and dragged her through two, two townships, and uh, when they found her, they seen uh, on, her, uh, on her front of her resumed speed. Why, uh, what can I do for you? You want to what? How's the, how's the fishing? And, and incidentally, what are they hitting on? Well, let's see. They, they was hitting real good here about four or five months back. But right now, right now, you're, you're in a season where uh, we've had some bad wind come in. I'm talking about, you know, regular wind. They, hear that? That was wind. That was wind out of a shivy. At uh, any rate, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, just fill out that uh, fishing license. That's $123 right now. Game warden's funny about, you know, they want some added money. This don't all go to the state. Some of it goes to him, I'll tell you that up front. And if you don't do it right, and if you don't fill it out right, and you don't give him the money, and I don't get the money right, he'll kill you. <laughs> now, okay, I know I was kidding. We don't have no guns here, but we have cigarettes. You can smoke yourself to death while you're on the water. Um, I've got, uh, I don't have no heavy liquors or anything like that. I've just got, I've got, listen, here, I've got something here. These, take a look at these. You know, I'm not one for violence, but there's a good one. If you was to stick him with that, or her, today they're sticking women too. Uh, these are childlike. These are for your nails. <laughs> hey, Ray, don't worry about it. You just, okay, you give me my friend. Now, I'm going to tell you what they're hitting on. These I've only got here. This is the one. This is a, uh, the, the creeping crawler and the uh, reddish uh, fur-like tape. These things are $115. You gotta be kidding, man, for a bait? Once you, th we're only allowed two of these a year, okay? I don't know where they come from. I deal through a guy secretly at night, but I wanna tell you something. You throw that in the water, and that son of a gun boy will take a hold of that, and your eyes will come out <laughs> as big as billiard balls. I love to face. You're not from around here, are you? Hmm? No, I'm not from around here, but I want to tell you something. We came down, those little funny knives that you're trying to push for the kids, they're a joke. We brought some heavy firepower. Now, if we don't get the fish, Jack, I want to tell you something. We've got about 56 sticks of dynamite. Do you read me? We throw those in the water, <laughs> and everybody eats right away. I gotta go. You know, I'll tell you the honest truth. <laughs> They must have sold me over $600 worth of stuff. Really? And I'll be darned if any of the things I use them fish hit on. Oh, my oh, God. Well, yeah, that's the way of a lot of fishermen, hey, you know. Yeah. Easy come, easy go. Right. Well, then I you... hate that cliche, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we hate all cliches. Oh, oh yes. Uh, just as right as rain, we hate cliches. There you go, we? right yes. as rain. Right. It's clouding up a little bit now. Well, now you know, a lot of times here at the home, they let us just sit out. My chair last year was rusted. Really? I was out for 16 days straight. Yeah, the, the, the aluminum rusted. Oh. I blame Miss Laura for it. Well, I understand that. Now, Nurse Laura seems to be taking very good care Boy, of you. Boy, she's a nice-looking lady. Yes. She's good. She's a, a medical person. She don't have no real medical background, you understand? Don't make any difference. <laughs> yes, you know, no, it doesn't. She matter. wears a nice uniform. She's got a tight body. You can crack walnuts on her. <laughs> and she's, uh, she's, she's good. I'm just trying to move a little bit. My spine. I, I oh, see. no. It's nothing lewd or anything like that. Just, there, hmm. In that beautiful area of the Oz. Oh, you go ahead, Laura. I'm sorry. You go ahead. Are you comfortable, Mr. Winters? Yes. Could you pull it up just a little higher, sure. Laura? How's that? Oh, perfect. Good. She pulls. Macrame very well. She seems to. That nurse Laura takes very good care of you, Mr. Winters. You've always been a patron of the arts and always have supported the arts, poetry, painting. 
You've been a tremendous artist yourself over the years. I, I couldn't help but notice as I came into the home here today that you still had the original that you had purchased some years ago, the crayon on flypaper drawing by Ernie Bushmiller of Nancy and Sluggo. Have you still your big, big art collection? Do you bring that with you? Ever? Well, I'd like to mention a few. You mentioned just one. Yes. Uh, one of my favorites is Lamar Steckler. Well, now, you, on your big fishing trip 20 years ago, uh, met an artist of some sort, didn't you, when you were after you'd gotten your lure and your baits and so yes, on? Yes, I met a man right there on the water itself, I mean, on the bank. Yes. And he was set up there with a tripod. His name, as I recall, was Fitzmuffin, Fitzpuffin, something like that. Excuse me. That guy down there playing the banjo, I swear, I... I've seen him in a couple of places. I saw him in a diner in town, and I, I saw him in a gas station where I got a car filled up. What's a, what's a character like you doing along the river with some kind of setup for an easel? Who are you? Very honestly, I don't know who you are. Allow me to introduce myself, all right? Leslie Miles Fitzpuffin, Royal Academy, London. Hey, come on. You're sketching a banjo. You, hey, kid, he's gone. It's funny, he was here a little while ago. That's kind of spooky in itself, you know. Have you followed his career at all? Have you seen him before? The guy with the banjo. I have no knowledge of any banjo player. Weird, I mean weird, but he plays well. Wish I could say the same for your drawing. Whew. Pathetic. Do you understand something? I get over 50,000 pounds for my oils in London. Here, it's a little different. Probably 1895. Isn't the river lovely? I care nothing of fishing. I'm visiting the Ozarks, doing sketches about the fish. Haven't seen any fish, have you? What a pity. In my brochure, I don't know about yours, they showed me page after page after page of large fish. Hey, come on, what are you doing? The outfit alone is kind of funky. And the stocking cap? I mean, come on. You know, you made fun of, my, incidentally, my, my attire. I don't mind that. But when you make fun of my art, you're not talking to some fop, some man at a festival, a medieval f fair of some kind or another. You're talking to a man who's a royal academician, who's a man of... The pencil guides me to the paper. Thank you. God, look how quiet the river is. Look, look. Look at the leaves. This is the right time of year to sketch, not to fish. I don't know what your brochure said. They showed me the trees in the river. They showed me lots of fish. Only the trees in the river here. <laughs> Causing a scene. You can leave me now. I hate for people to stare at me. Unless, of course, you want to buy this. What? You fop. He didn't care for that too much. I guess they don't like to be mocked. But at any rate, uh, he, he sent me several of his watercolors, and they're lovely. They're well done for a man with his problems. Indeed. You've always been so wonderful to the Indian people of America and all around the world, Jonathan. Um, I understand that you found an Indian guide en route to this wonderful fishing trip 20 years ago. Yes, I came across uh, a comparatively young, middle-aged Indian, middle-aged. Yes. Young to me. He spoke one time of, of smoke signals, and he had the blanket. He said he was just a young boy. It was years right. ago when he and his grandfather and great-grandfather, was a miracle. He was just a child. He was about three or four years old. And he said my grandfather had placed a blanket Right. Multicolored blanket over a fire. I see. Oh, and then yes. he would shake the blanket. And then he would shake the blanket, and you see, those were supposedly signals. I see. And, and what, what did... What, well, then he would say, what ta, in his native yeah. tongue, Watake sanokche onoko enahapa ahape no tanaha. And what did that mean? My blanket's on fire. I see. And that was his humor. And, he uh, did have a sense of humor, I didn't he? Yeah, he did. And I, I, had, I was forced to laugh. It can't be. It's that banjo player again. I don't 
don't believe it. He's everywhere. Get him some fishing gear. He's got to put that banjo down. I don't believe it. Excuse me, uh, you are a fishing guide, aren't you? I mean, uh, fishing guide, yes. Jack, what they say, barking dog, married many moons, 12 sons, and five birch. See, woman put collar on me. Your wife makes you wear that collar? No wonder you're out here in the Thule's. Or, I mean, this is gonna sound kind of trite. Are you a real Indian? Because a lot of people around here have been putting me on. You know, it's Halloween and everything, and <laughs> are you a real Indian? Watch this. You bet your life I'm real Indian, huh? Nail you to old canoe. Whew, that knife, please, please. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's more than a pig sticker. <laughs> That's a sequoia sticker. <laughs> no, no, of course I'm real Indian. Yes, I am. I am Shawnee, twice removed, 16th. If I have nosebleed, I'm out of tribe. Yeah, okay. Uh, whatever you say, um, aren't the dogs, they are dogs or whatever they are, aren't they awfully thin? Dog dead, been there on log too many moons. Oh, they're skins. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I, I'd never seen any dogs that flat. <laughs> you want to fish on river? You give me money up front. Huh? Last time white man come through here, your size, many melons stacked high. Mm, he come with all kinds fishing rod. He smile like dancing moon. He stiff me. I learned that, not only lose money, but word from white man stiff. Tired of being stiffed. So if we go together, I guide you on river. I use this, you use rod. Good? Okay. Hey, you got my word, man. I have never stiffed an Indian. I've stiffed a few white people, preferably Germans. But no, all kidding aside, I would never stiff an Indian. And I'm gonna give you your money up front. There are fish in that river, aren't there? So far, I don't mean to be out of line, but so far the brochure, they really stiffed me. I really got it up the no no-no in California. What time do you want to fish? I don't know, it's kinda kind of quiet now in the river. A little breeze maybe going through the trees and all that, but hey, what do you say around, maybe around four o'clock? Four o'clock. Why are you looking in that way? Wish I had watch. Tell by sun. Right now, sun say 12.32.30. Whew, just think if you'd had a seco. Wow. Here we are, Sunday on the river, and you're able to tell time like that. Let me say this in all seriousness. Whether I catch any fish, if the canoe goes down, if the dogs never get up off the log, the fact that you can tell time, that exact time, wasn't it kind of worth it to lose the country to, to be able to look into the sun? Almost be blinded and say it's 4.32.30. Beautiful. He sold me a, a, a bow and arrow, which uh, I could barely make out. It said Sears. Uh, I think he kind of pulled one on me there, but that's all right. Did you he know, have a Look hurt? what we've done to the Indians. Well, of course, <laughs> yes. I remember about 20 years ago, Mr. Winters, in Germany, in Frankfurt, Germany, I remember seeing the photos of you doing a concert in Frankfurt, and they put up these huge banners because they were all such big fans of yours, saying, Willkommen Schweinhund which was such a nice compliment. Well, I hate to correct you, you know, just after that lovely series of wordage. Uh, it was all right until you uh, deciphered what they meant, oh, which really? is, welcome you dog. Yeah. Schweinhund is a dog. And I was doing all right until I got back to my hotel there on Frankfurt on the Mime or whatever it was. Yes. And uh, then they told me what it meant. I thought it was, boy, a stiff, Bad joke that here I, I was driving along right. in the Mercedes and everything, you know, and I thought these people were really welcoming, and they, they should have mentioned my name. They just said Schweinhund. Oh, I see pig dog, I guess. Please. Maybe. Oh, yes, well. I, I don't need that. I, had, I had, pig don't know. Dog. I'm just yeah, translating I it literally. I had enough Schweinhund, and <laughs> well, you know what pig dog is? 
Van der Skyzer. No, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah I no, see. you don't. Oh, no, I guess I've I don't. I've been called that in a lot of cities, including Muncie, Indiana. <laughs> well, now... A small Nazi movement there. This, this, I, excuse me, I saw that there was there. I just wanted to ask you, sir, how this ties in, because when you were in, uh, in Missouri... Yes. Wasn't there a German game warden there? Very much so. Yes. He looked like a kind of a Schwarzenegger reject. His body was gone, mm -hmm. and mine was on hold. At any rate, I was going down there to just to fish and have a good time, and boy, he came from out of nowhere in a leather jacket and some kind of little funky hat and a weapon. What's it loose? Hell, yeah. that guy down there, that's that banjo player. Hey, what are he's doing in that canoe, that aluminum canoe? I don't know. Just stay where you are. Don't do anything foolish. I want to talk with you later. You are the banjo. What's it loose? Come and see here. Jeff is a post, apparently. I hope that he plays well. You don't have to be fooling around necessarily, as long as he's playing banjo. But if he tries, a one moon. To play banjo, and to fish too. And he needs a musical license, and a fishing license. If I don't get them, this is the, what the Indians call the fire stick. But I really put it to them. Are you the warden? Yeah. I wonder if, oh, excuse me. Uh, I wonder, could you show me a little identification? How do I know you're just a man with a shotgun and a stocking cap? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the warden. I don't have to give you any full name. Here, hold this. Good. And I covered the whole county. I mean, tri-county, really. Weiss, Eins, Fein, Tri. Little German comes out, it's only natural. I've not lived here all my life, you can probably tell that. I was originally from Munich, then to Hamburg, then south, into the Black Forest, where I started lifting weights. It affected my mind, so I came here to the States and declared myself just an ordinary citizen. Now, let me see where you are. Your fishing license is. I better be able to see it. Wait a minute, just a moment. I've got it, I've got it. I sure had it here. Just a moment. Don't tremble. I gave you the gun because I trust you. And don't be foolish and try to grab me or use the gun. Why? Because I have grenades on me with the pins out. If I lift my arms now, which I almost did, we'd be history, both of us. Let's take a look. Let's see. What we have here. They make these things so Mickey Mouse, so difficult to get in and out of. This is your name? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You don't murk me. You don't murk me. Or murk me. Let's see what your name is here. Another California clown. Mm-hmm. You know something? Before I kill a person, you know what I always do is play a little tune. And then, boom, <laughs> I'm kidding. Give me back the gun. Good. Continue here. Here is your, so many things going on here. What we call in German show business, things are getting too busy. <laughs> That's when we eliminate people. Okay, now, I'm thankful I didn't have to use this. Good fishing to you. They're not hitting as often as they used to. Why? Because people like you, Clowns come in and really hit the water hard. And have killed off a lot of the fishing. But good luck. Okay? Get going. Oh, thank you. Incidentally, I'm going to let you in on something. I see the brochure fell on the ground that they showed you where the, you know, about the river down here. Nobody has caught anything for years. <laughs> I didn't stay there too long, I was moving. When I see a weapon, I start to move. In other words, it's either in the creek or out of the creek or swim or attach an oven route to you and all that. Yes. Well, at any yeah. rate, I, I was fearful. And of course, he spoke in fluent uh, English, but with very broken English. 
Well, Jonathan, you keep referring to this ubiquitous banjo player. He seems to be everywhere that you show up. Is uh, any reason for that? Or? He literally, literally kind of followed me through the, the whole time I was there. If I wasn't in the restaurant or the gas station where I first pulled in and in the restaurant, and then, of course, I, I'd gone on to fishing and wherever I was staying, he was always there. Uh -huh. Playing that banjo. Well, he's, he's doing real good now in Hollywood. Really? That's what they say. I got a nice card from him. He can barely write, but don't make any difference. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's talented with that banjo. It's like it was given to him from the man, you know? Indeed, manna from heaven, sort of. No, no. man up the street from Oh, him, I see. It. But at any rate. I see. <laughs> well, now, what about... fishing. This is like the brochure. These trees kind of bent over the river. October in the Ozarks on the current river. Wow. Just me, too. No dummies on either bank casting in and around me. No boats. Just me. This is what I paid for. <laughs> Problems with the brochure and the fish, who cares? I tell you, there it is. That's the cast. Just gotta be in here. Uh, I tell you, this is something else. This is God's country. God, let me have a fish. I love you, God. I was in church the other day. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. <laughs> oh, well. It's a nice thing about being out here by yourself. You can do all these little numbers, and ain't nobody to judge you. <laughs> oh, yes, look what I've caught here. Hmm, small fish, but it's just enough for, for lunch. We'll have some tea, break out the sandwiches. Oh, yes, I'll have some of those. Those little finger sandwiches. There's actually fingers of some child. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Why, oh, this is perfect. There's a bear. No, it isn't. Oh, my God. It's Bigfoot. How you doing? He's wearing a religious medallion. Why, oh, there's somebody floating. Hey, turn over. Of course he can't. <laughs> I guess it happens along the river every once in a while. You know, a guy fails to show his license and they put a pattern in him. Oh, well, here we go. I just cast over into there. There. Oh, boy. Mmm, mmm. Oh, I'm onto something. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys. Look here. Look at what I got on here. Huh? <laughs> oh, are they kidding? This guy will go at least 15 pounds. Hey. Listen, you people, wherever you are, <laughs> uh, you got away, you got away. How do you explain the ones that get away? I bet he would have gone 15 pounds. Oh, well, who cares? Well, I just might stop here and, while we're drifting and get into those sandwiches. Kidding. I forgot to bring my sandwiches. I gotta catch something. <gasps> mm. oh, something took it. Mm. Just play that rascal. 
always want to read the instructions on the box. Gently. Don't jerk it too much. Just, just tip that rod. Keep feet, that's right. Keep the head up just a little bit. That's right. Keep that plug moving. A little more action. A little more. There you go. Nothing. You know, I've been thinking about this. The river is beautiful. You know, question about that. The Ozarks, magnificent. The trees just turning this time of year. The fall and all that, but the river's cold. Boy, I'm cold. I'm telling you. I think the fish got cold. They've gone down. They've gone down for the winter. You won't see there any more fish until spring. <sighs> I don't know. It's cost me around fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars to come down here, fly down in here and you know, rent a boat, bed and breakfast, all this food, and didn't bring the food to for fishing and, and, and no fish and no food and no food fish. Uh, I don't know. That six pack of diet stuff. I, I didn't bring that and I'm so doggone frustrated and I'm broke. That's what I'm saying is I'm broke. You understand? I think what we've got to do in order to get enough money to get back to California is for you to play that banjo and really play it. Little money for California? Little money for California? It's my son. Just got out of state prison. I know he doesn't look like Johnny Cash. So what? He's got that heart. On behalf of all of us at the Zookmeister Broadcasting System, we'd like to thank Jonathan Winters for sharing his wonderful memories of 20 years ago on the fabulous fishing trip. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you, and I hope you'll join us when we go next time looking for boars. Well, you can count on it. That's B-O-R-E-S. Oh, I see, yes. <laughs> yeah, a little humor there, sir. A little humor. We'd like to thank you so much and for being our very special guest, this wonderful gift certificate for a heated cantaloupe warmer. Oh, look, Laura. Are you okay? I certainly am. I am oh, now. Look at that. Laura's going to take me to my unit. Are you well, all right. right. Well, okay. I was a little chilly for a while. I had a good time. Say goodbye to Mr. Owens. Bye Mr. bye, Laura. Owens. Nurse Thanks Laura. Take good care of him, will I you will. please? Goodbye, and He's thank adorable. you for the cantaloupe warmer. Always a pleasure. That's stiffed again. Thank you.